Hi students, now we are going to solve the second MCQ in kinematics. Two objects of masses M1 and M2 fall from the heights H1 and H2 respectively. That is M1 is at a height of H1, M2 is falling from height of H2. The ratio of the magnitude of their momenta when they hit the ground is so when you drop these two masses they are falling freely and they are going to hit the ground after some time so when they hit the ground what is the ratio of their linear momenta is asked very interesting question it is now let us take uh, when the first mass hits the ground its uh, final velocity is v1 and uh, similarly for uh, m2 the final velocity when it hits the ground is v2 now we have studied the equations of kinematics the third equation of kinematics we are going to use here that is v square is equal to u square plus 2a s now since uh, both the masses are falling uh, freely okay they are falling freely therefore their initial velocity will be equal to 0 and uh, hence uh, v square is now equal to 2 g h for freely falling objects, the acceleration uh, due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. And the distance travelled in the vertical direction is equal to the height. So, I can write uh, V square is proportional to H. So, this is the idea we are going to use in solving such problems. Now, actually, we are going to use this idea. The square of the final velocity is proportional to the height. So, this height is uh, different for the different masses. So, I can write for the first mass, uh, V1 square is proportional to H1. And hence, uh, V1 is proportional to square root of H1. Okay, V1 is proportional to square root of H1. Similarly, for the second mass, V2 square, V2 square is proportional to H2 or V2 is proportional to square root of H2. If a final velocity of the first mass on the other depend on the square root of the height H1. Okay, wa. Ade madre, velocity, the final velocity of the second mass on the, it depends uh, directly to the square root of uh, its height H2 on the chair. If a momentum na in the momentum na in the product of mass into velocity than a, if a mass of the first body m1, final velocity when it hits the ground is v1. So, momentum, momentum of the first body is equal to what? m1 into v1. v1, m1 into v1 is proportional. Now, p2, p2 is equal to m2 into v2. So, if v2 is proportional to root of h2. So, p1 by p2 must be equal to. So, p1 by P2 must be equal to, when I divide on the right hand side, first term will become M1 by M2 into V1 by V2 square root of H1 by H2 into square root of H1 by H2. Okay, ma? Apa, this is the ratio of the momentum when they hit the ground surface. If we get the correct option, apa, a ratio of their momenta is equal to m1 by m2 into square root of h1 by h2. Aba option C is the correct answer. Okay, ma? Aba, therefore, option C is the correct answer. If we have to understand this sum, we don't have to understand this sum. We don't have to understand this board examination or in competitive examinations. We don't have to do this. This is quick problems. This is 2 seconds or 3 seconds. Now we are learners. That's why we are doing the full description. First, we are going to do the same thing. Then we are going to do the quickness of understanding. We are going to do the same thing. We are going to do the same thing. We are going to do the same thing. Is it easy? Okay, fine.